y'all welcome back to my channel so right now it is about let me see about six hours before i have surgery and long story as to why it's six hours before i get surgery i'm home in orlando and i'll be leaving from miami at 1 20 i should get there at 5 40 they told me to be at three place by 6 30 so i get to miami at 5 40 um i'm taking a greyhound because they called me today at like five o'clock in the afternoon saying my surgery was at 6 30 first thing in the morning but i told one of my the the clinician one of the clinic ladies there she's kind of over the scheduling too at dolls that um i wasn't going to be able to land until 9 30 on that day because they wanted me to do my pre-op and my surgery on the same day because as of july 31st the first time we went to go get surgery but they canceled because my hemoglobin was too low they did all the pre-op shit there that day like i thought i was getting surgery and everything but they didn't tell me to my surgery day july 31st that i wasn't getting surgery because my hemo was too low but that's another story another day but um so right now i'm just about to show you i want to finna pack in my luggage um as i said before i should be leaving here within an hour like this is me literally packing my shit like to leave orlando shortly i braided my hair last night because frontal gain is not my way that i'm going to be going for my surgery i'm not doing it i'm already dressed for my surgery i'm gonna wash this makeup off before i leave the lashes um, ain't coming out these i went to go put them um put them on before um like these are put on so he's so cute but um yeah i put these lashes on when i got my nails done um i did my toes um and i took my nails off because you can't have nails in surgery at least one nail you can't but if you take one off take them all off so yeah i have this long ass ugly ass on. I got this out of the plus size section in Forever 21. My room is a mess because I'm finna show y'all what I'm packing in my luggage um, as well. And Ben is gonna be taking me to the Greyhound station um, as well. Real cute, real cute, real cute. <laughs> Let me stop. Um, so yeah, so basically, see Shug, hey Shug. Shug, you being gross, somebody wants to your nuts. So you really don't need a big luggage. All you really need is one of these smaller luggages. Like, you know, the one you can carry on a plane. So we're gonna fill it as you see. So, I mean, here I just have some uh, some small shit, like you know, like my thing I wash my hold my hair back when I wash my face with. Um, got some tampons, some earrings, and like a like a, a soft bra because when I put my faha on, you know, I got these things on my chest, so I gotta keep these away at the same time too. So I have a soft bra that won't put any compression on my on my midriff and on my torso, um, but I'll still be able to support my chest, jumbo, mumbo, whatever you wanna call them, uh, my boobs. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna just um, okay, so I'm gonna show y'all I got some baby wipes just to clean myself with at any point in time that I need to. Um, so for the pharmacy stuff, I'm going to be taking with me some colis that is like a, um, for the pharmacy stuff, I'm going to be taking with me some colis that is like a, um, this is for you to take, it's stool softener. You know, if you get the surgery, it's not gonna be easy for you to use the bathroom by yourself. So I'm gonna take some of that stool softener with me. It's called Colis. Um, I have my hair skin and, hair skin and um, nails gummies. I take those every day anyways, the strawberry kind. Y'all know what these are. Um, I got some silver A for my hair because y'all know I got these braids, but if they start itching me like crazy, I'm not dealing with it. I will cut this out of my head. So I'm just bringing this with me for my scalp, for my hair. Um, I have my airborne vitamin C gummies. I'm taking these because of course, if I'm getting surgery, I don't wanna get fucking sick. I'm going to Miami during COVID. And they're still not open, so just to have these, just because I take these every day as well with all my other vitamins. Um, vitamin C, most important thing you need. Most important thing you need, vitamin C and your iron supplement that is good for you, which is like the Hemaplex, the, the blood builder, anything that works for you. I'm taking this thing called um, SSS Tonic. I'm going to show y'all that in a second, but as long as you pair these two together, you should get your hemoglobin where it needs to be before your surgery, and you should try to start, you should start taking it about a month before your surgery. So a month to two months, two months, you will be perfect for surgery when you do your blood work, but a month before surgery is, is good if you... Um, you know, if you're planning on a, on having a soon surgery, but don't know where your hemo is, until you do blood work. So do that. So I got some vitamin C, thousand milligram pills. Um, yeah, these are thousand milligram pills. So yeah, I got those. Um, I have a douche just in case anything goes crazy. It's for yeast infections because they're gonna give you a yeast infection pill. But um, I just have this just because I never know. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get up and go to the damn store if I need to. I'm gonna have my mom there. I'm gonna get a um, sassy queen recovery house. So I'll be at a recovery house. So just bring this. I'm not supposed to do it. Y'all may have not supposed to do it, but just because, just just in case anything, you know, I'm just gonna bring it. Um, I have some chest rub just in case, as I said, I get sick. I don't know. Um, I don't need that. Um, I have some 
Monistat cream. Y'all know Monistat cream is just in case. You never know. You're going to be getting antibiotics too. So y'all know antibiotics give you fucking yeast infections. So I'm just bringing everything I might need just as a female, as a woman. I'm bringing some maxi pads and some tampons as well. Because I am finishing up my period, which is really good. Because um, you don't want to be on your period and dealing with your surgery at the same time. But you're going to need some maxi pads as well for the holes. Um, for your surgery when you're still leaking out. My, sur my surgeon doesn't do... He does not do the... The drainage pipe thing, he doesn't do that. So he just lets everything go, which I like. That's what I like. Um, I have some hydrocortical cream, you know, my toothpaste, toothbrush, toothpaste, some Andy cream for whatever. Um, yes, and this is the SS tonic that I was talking about. Look what is in it. 100 milligrams of iron. If you take this like two or three times a day with the vitamin C every time you eat, you'll be great for surgery. So eat you a lot of steak, take you some Floridix or some of this, drink you a lot of water, and you're going to be good. Hydrocortisone cream. Um... What else I got? Oh yeah, folic acid as well. Definitely need folic acid. Essential. Folic acid. The higher the milligrams, the better. Um, I got me some little small perfume, whatever. And I got some um some pure lax because if you, I, I'm already constipated because of the iron supplement. I'm taking so much of it because my hemoglobin was low and I want to make sure it stays up for surgery. And especially with me just finishing my period, my hemoglobin is gonna naturally lower. Um, so yeah, I just got me this just in case I'm feeling really backed up, you know, while I'm there. I'll just already have some with me to just pour some water and drink it and go to the bathroom. Just even though this you have the stool softener, but if I get constipated, constipated, I'm gonna need that. So I'm gonna throw that in there. Um and I also have some Theraflu. I took this the other day because I woke up and I felt like a itch in my throat and I felt like I was getting fucking sick. So I just have some Theraflu Express Max Severe Cold and Flu. <sighs> just take you a lot of that and take a nap and you should be fine. Like I said, just in case you get sick. I don't want to get sick and be dealing with the surgery. B12. Get you some of this too. This helps with your, um, with your, you know, when you do all your stuff and you do all that. I can't even see. It's too bright. But yeah. 5,000, what is it, MCGs? Just one squirt of this on your tongue a day. That's all you need, and it's all you be the B12 you need. Got some Tylenol 8 hour angle cap. I'm gonna bring some Percocets from home because my surgery is so early in the morning that they're not gonna give me my prescription paper until after my surgery. So I'm not gonna get my script prescription, my oxycodone, all that shit until the end of the day, like five o'clock or so, like way late as fuck. I already know that. So I got some Tylenol 8 hour, and I'm gonna go pick up these perks on my way home. You no, know, on my way to the bus station. Um, don't tell nobody, but yeah, I'm gonna go do that because I'm not, I refuse to be dying. Like, I refuse to be dying after surgery. I never even took a percent of my life, but my homegirl, she already went today and got her butt done. We were supposed to be the same day, we were supposed to be surgery buddies, but that didn't happen. So, um, yeah, so I got some Tylenol 8 hour. I also have some, some Tylenol PM, um, to help me sleep. Um, I thought I had got some melatonin too. I could have sworn I got some fucking melatonin, but I guess with the Tylenol PM, I should be good. I got some Arnica gel for the swelling. For um for pain for stiffness as well, you're gonna need that. You're when I say you're gonna need that, like you're gonna need something to help you, your your body out. And I got these adhesive pads for when I get back on the plane, when I when I get ready to leave, and you know just to cover up the holes when I put my faha on when I'm about to get on the plane and leave, just to make sure I don't leak or anything like that, because that's gonna be probably my, like my third or fourth day, so I might not be done draining by then. I don't know, so I'm just gonna have all the stuff just because. Here are the maxi pads. I'm throwing these maxi pads in my luggage right now. So I also have this little pee pee, this cut pee thing, the urinal that I'm gonna need when I use the bathroom, of course, because I'm gonna have to stand up for a little while to use the bathroom. Like a day or two before I can, you know, use the bathroom. So, got my urinal. I also have these damn diapers, like I'm a 12 year old. Like I'm a, like a five year old. Um, so, yeah, I have these diapers for the bleeding, of course. So, I'm gonna bring these with me. I'm gonna just bring all of them. I think I have about 10, 10 of them. Yeah. I'm gonna be there for about four days. So, yeah, like two a day or so. I have some soap that I'll bring with me, some caress from when I'm ready to go, you know, when I take a regular shower. And I'm gonna bring some dial with me to. Some some anti some antiseptic sorry antiseptic dial soap with me as well. That's what I'm forgetting. I got all of that. And I'm a motherfucking sock freak. I love socks. And that house, that that recovery house, is immaculate. Like it's so clean, and the floor is like. I just need some socks for the floor, but it's still clean, so I'm not scared to wear my nice fuzzy socks here without walking, you know, walking around and feel like my shit gonna be black after walking. And you know, you gotta keep your slides on, your compression socks on, your I got these Ugg slippers I'm gonna have with me as well, but I'm gonna load up on the socks because you know, just because. And you might bleed on them too, so you might have to change, you might have to change them as well. So. I got these from Room 21 for a dollar. I got like everything, like every kind of fuzzy socks on the fucking rack. And lastly, the only other thing I'm gonna need, cause you know, you're not going nowhere, you're not looking cute, you're not gonna need no makeup, you're not gonna need no, none of that shit. So I'm just bringing some, some fitted clothing just in case, you know, when I leave for the airport, um, I don't really know what I wanna wear. And I'm not gonna know what I'm gonna be able to wear. I don't know, so um, I'm gonna bring that. And like I said, I'm wearing this to my surgery. So when I get out, this is what I'm gonna have on in my robe um, as well. So I have this other long little dress. It's not really long, this is actually short too, just like this one. But I like this one, this one's cute. Um, I'm gonna bring that with me too. I'm gonna bring a jumpsuit too, a sweatsuit. 
great, a great sweatsuit just in case. Like I said, I'm not bleeding anymore, so I have something comfortable to slip on when I go to the airport. Cause y'all know airports ain't always the best, and they're not always comfortable. So I'm gonna bring that with me, bring my jacket with me, so I should be good. Actually, I'm not gonna bring the jacket. I'm gonna just bring the sweat. I'm only gonna need like one pair. Of, I don't even think I need underwear. I don't wear underwear now. Y'all know that, but um, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna bring another one of my soft bras, like I said, just in case my other one gets blit, um, it, it's you know gets blood on it. I'm just gonna have another soft bra with me. I'm gonna bring underwear just because this one. <laughs> I don't wear underwear really at all. So yeah, I have a black dress. I got all this stuff in Forever 21 too. They're really stretchy, like so you know, like I said, I don't know what I'm wearing to the airport. Um, I don't know how my faha is gonna be on me. I haven't tried it on yet. Or, um, I haven't even gotten my faha yet. I get it, you know, of course, whenever I get out of surgery. I have one of the green dresses too. I got burgundy, black, and green. I don't need the jackets for the sweatsuit. I brought some like house pants. Um, and I have three more dresses because you know I'm gonna be there for more days than that. So I'll be there. Um, so I'll be there for like, four days because I leave Sunday. Today, well, today is currently Thursday, which is it's really surgery day now at this point. And I cannot believe this shit. I still can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's already here. My original surgery day got changed like four times, y'all. But uh, that's the story time that I'm gonna give y'all. The pussy chop. The pussy chop. Oh my god. The pussy top chair. Push top chair, we don't talk about that. <laughs> you wanna push top chair, that out there? When you talk about that shit out there, that's what you do. So yeah, that's all I have for today when we packing. I'm gonna hit y'all back whenever I get on the bus. But I think I'm gonna just make this just a what's in my BBL bag. Day one, surgery day, and I gotta pee. So I'm gonna hit y'all later. Bye.